Wakanda forever. The, there have been, you know, it's some the chosen few, few <laughs> have gotten <laughs> to go have to gotten the, to see. They went to a premiere. early viewing. Yeah, yes. they went to the, a lot of people went to the premiere. A lot of TikTokers, <laughs> a lot of people. A uh, friend of the channel, uh, Amanda, uh, Amanda just vibing. The she said she ones. got invited at the last second. I'll take it. And she took it. She was and she went <laughs> and she <laughs> went. Um, the movie doesn't come out for like three weeks, but when when movies like that premiere early, it's a good thing. I, I know it's a ner it's a scary thing for everybody else because it's like, damn it, that that increases the risks of any uh, spoilers, and I do yeah. not, I do not want to be spoiled uh, on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna read uh, some of the the reviews that came out, and I thought about I thought about going to Rotten Tomatoes, but I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually go to 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 Twitter. Or people get raw. Now this is a risk because there's a big chance of spoilers here. But I kind of want to see what people have put. So I put up, I put into the hashtag or the search uh, engine, the uh, the search bar, the uh, the words Wakanda Forever review. So this and this is what pops up. So starting off, uh, first this is from Pop Base. Wakanda Forever is receiving outstanding reviews from critics, calling it beautiful, powerful, emotional, and Marvel's. Magnum op uh, Opus. Uh, let's see. He also, let's see if there's a picture of, there's some other reviews right there uh, too. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, Wakanda Forever is a beautiful, uh, characteristic tribute to the uh, legacy of Chadwick Boseman. Uh, reminds us of how uh, monumental, uh, impact, uh, monumental impact and that he's truly still here with us. Great performance. From Gurria uh, Bassett, Wright, and Thorne. Herrera was incredible. Uh, loved Rihanna's song and uh, Ludwig's score. Uh, baby, you mind reading me the next one? Wakanda Forever honors Chadwick and T'Challa. It's emotional, powerful, and beautiful. Tanakh is brilliant, immediately grabbing your attention. Welcome to the MCU Namer. Riri is fun Neymar. with Peter Parker-like energy. Action, phase four tie-ins, and some surprises. Loved it. Uh, let's see. Watching as intended. What kind of forever review? Marvel's magnum opus. Uh, Ryan Coogler does it again, delivering a very emotional, uh, epic, and uh, sexy, horny adventure. <laughs> what the hell is what? The, the, what kind of review is that? Is that the type of reviews I need to give to get to get <laughs> verified on Rotten Tomatoes? Horny reviews. Oh man, <laughs> oh, the, that big Black Panther <laughs> was so sexy, <laughs> horny. Oh, it was emotional. <laughs> it was epic. You gotta be out of breath to say all that. And then, wow, this dude had an orgasm after that credit started rolling. <laughs> this isn't just another superhero movie. It's one of the best. Films ever. Great action, too. A fitting ending uh, setting up what's uh, next for Black Panther. And uh, Lando says, Wakanda Forever is outstanding. That's my favorite word. Uh, it handles loss, grief, and revenge with a maturity and seriousness rarely seen in the MCU. Black Panther continues to be their crown jewel. Latita Wright, Angela Bassett, and uh, Tana Carretta all bring some of the best acting I've ever seen all year. Um, I'm hoping that we get an advance, uh, get invited to a screening uh, of Black Panther. If I get, um, if if I get that, I'm going to try to get as many as many seats as I can. I want uh, us to go, Tabitha, as many as our friends. I, I want everybody to go. I don't care who uh, who, who comes with us. I want it to be a, a party, as many seats as I can get. Because I want to see this. I do want to see it early because I don't want to. Because I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to be spoiled accidentally. I don't want to find out that Superman shows up at the end. You know, at the end of, at the, end of the movie, <laughs> like we found out with Black Adam. Uh, spoiler. Sorry, guys. Did I just spoil that for you? My bad. Yeah. Now you know how I feel. Uh, let's see. Who is this? Who is this guy? No, that doesn't okay. seem to be. Another that seems side. to be unrelated. It's unrelated. Talking about oh. That's, oh, that's something. Oh, I'll see what that is. Let me go back. My bad. 
uh, <laughs> who is this guy? Ty. Uh, <laughs> literally every review of Wakanda Forever has been positive. The entire cast soundtrack, everything is being universally praised. Uh, let's see. That, yeah, oh, yeah, that was just their comment section. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, Kamala Harris. I guess she loved it, I guess. Uh, what do we got here? We got Charles Witch from America. Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever is biggest, uh, bigger in scope and scale than Black Panther, but its story is also one of Marvel's most intimate and heartfelt. It's definitely a comic book movie, but it's one that censors grief and grieving process rather than super uh, heroics and spectacle. Uh, and then he says he's going to come out with a full review uh, soon. So in dealing with the, the passing or them losing Chadwick Boseman, and I guess we're going to have that um, talked about and uh, it's going to be a main thing it's in the um, in the movie itself um, I'm still on the they should have recast kick how do you feel about it now do you think moving on is the better um, thing or do you I think mean I, I definitely think they should have recast I don't um, I don't think that would have been a bad thing. Right. However, I, I didn't feel, I didn't have any doubts really that Marvel and Ryan Coogler were going to do something that was going to be spectacular regardless. Mm -hmm. it, it, they were going to make it happen anyways. So, yeah, I agree. I, I just, I'm, I'm still one of those guys that's like, they, I feel like they should have recast and, um, something that uh, another YouTuber named Eman Reviews uh, said that the, the trailer made him feel like they because we already had our grieving moments for Chadwick two years ago and now it's like they're gonna it's almost like they're forcing us to do it again two years later I didn't see and I saw that he went to the premiere so I don't know if he changed it. I saw that people were even talking about because he's one of the E-Man e Reviews if you don't know his uh, YouTube channel go check it out E-Man E-Man -Man Reviews He's the guy who is the real godfather of the recast T'Challa uh, movement. And I'm curious on how I have it. I saw that he made uh, that he gave an emotional review and I want to go back and I'm going to go check it out. So uh, I'm looking forward uh, to that. But uh, these early reviews, like I said, from, from what I can tell, it's mostly positive. 